Smoke's coming on in, but the Cromwells do not care. They're giving chase. Luckily, the front armor's been helping. Up, oh, that one didn't help. That one did bet. Up, uh, up, oh, that one bounced too. Ah, oh, not again. Hello everyone, this is GrayShot170, bringing you another CH2 replay. Uh, oh god, this is gonna be great. In any case, we have a 1v1 in a, uh, map, Bayux, created by Spanky. Alright, uh, players have some decent rank to them, though it looks like playtime goes to the Brits. We have an OKW, like, as well, versing them. We'll see how things fly, we already have Strategic Reserve, probably gonna mess that up. No, it's Grand Offensive. I always mix the two up, always do. But don't worry guys, I do have a positive. I have this because of your support. So thank you for allowing me to get this sacred item right now. I know, it, it's astonishing the fact I even have this, but through sheer determination and uh, ripping and tearing, I managed to actually get it. So thank you for your support. Any case, in all seriousness, make sure you like, subscribe, definitely helps out the channel. Uh, but let's see how this game goes uh, right now with this we could definitely see some infantry bonuses some good armor uh saving techniques such as the artillery ability from the panzer commander or the smoke along with the tiger so white fire picked a good doctrine i think uh already as well we have cover being chosen with the british going uh, with a lot of british infantry section but either laying down cover either on the point itself so that way he can use it and the enemy can't or S chicken uh, can then use it here where he can cap it, but the enemy can't cap it. So again, he's always hindering the enemy in some capacity. So great job. All, already has the fuel. So, uh, well, the Germans are about to grab it, but they have actually more individual points, which is interesting enough. Um, full British infantry section across the board. So if I do assume what he's going to go, he's going to go Len Lease. Now, a lot of people know from my streams, I despise Len Lease, but... With a small asterisk, I despise Len Lease in 4v4s and, and 3v3s. Why? Because it doesn't have long-term practi uh, pra uh, practi practicality in terms of its uh, uses. But in a 1v1, its its strengths far outnumber its weaknesses and becomes an acceptable doctrine because of the fact that its infantry can be boosted. And I'm assuming that's what he's going to go. Because that allows him uh, some really great infantry. And again, a lot of other units that are very good in 1v1 play. Good job getting in the building. Make sure that they, you know you don't be quickly taken out. You can hold your ground. Why? Because he needs to hold on to this point so that we can keep capture. I, li I like the flank coming on here. Can't use the cover. Realizes this. Whitefire pulls back. And most likely going to reposition a better cover. Now, Ponson Fusiliers, I think, might have a little bit of an issue with breach infantry section. But he is in cover, so that's going to help. These Sturms, on the other hand, are going to have some massive issues. Uh, okay. So, good job by the British. They managed to decap that point. Again, the German was trying to prevent that from happening. Oh, wait. He actually might kill the Sturm on the retreat. Uh, it's going to be close. I don't. Th I think it's only because it's one rifle. He may not. It could be lucky. Oh, three more. It's focusing. A little too late, though. A little too late. The other squad did retreat. Ponsonful Slew Squad's moving up to grab mid. But with that point, the Axis will not have fuel for the for, for the, the time being. He could throw a grenade, but the problem is he does have a, a truck up. So that's not going to happen. He needs a truck to deploy a grenade. We already can see here he's deployed his first base. So that's uh, already set up. And he, with that, we got Royal Engineers. He could go Armored Car. I actually would probably prefer that. Even though the enemy has Ponsonful Slayers, that's good at countering light armor in general. And also good infantry support. Plus, even though it has a small disadvantage in, like, range and stuff like that, I do think it's pretty good against a Puma if combined with other arms, like Panzerfaust. Uh, like, the Panzerfaust is just, like, well, that one extra step. You, you chuck an AT grenade and the armored car can definitely, like, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Puma. And definitely pacing, if, use the smoke, especially if you direct fire. So, anyway, we can see here that both sides are trying to, again, they're trying to gain that ground. They're trying to get, ma get map control so they get those precious resources. And right now, the Germans are actually looking a lot better. Sure, the British took that fuel, but within all that time, the Axis still managing to hold on to the British's uh, fuel area. And along with everywhere, everywhere else, we have two VP points. This is still here. I will 100% admit, he's doing very well holding that point. And maybe, no, I don't... Out of everything, I'm seeing Lin Lisa's definitely. Like, that's if I have to assume. 
All right, bridge infantry upgrade with health so we can heal. Again, they are going to be changing it so that we can heal uh, in other areas in different ways. But for right now, infantry section is the best way to go. You could build a base, but that's a lot of resources in order to do so, which kind of sucks. British had to fall back. Germans will reconnect that territory, but it's already in British hands. And you already placed cover to hold it. But again, none of this cover has been even touched. And the British has a lot of men. But the Germans also have a lot of men. Unfortunately, a lot of them have been dying. So... Needs to think of something uh, different. Now, it looks like he is upgrading his men. Uh, one of them. There we go. G43 rifles. I wouldn't upgrade them at base. I would upgrade them on the move. Heal your men, then advance with them. That way that you can do both things. If you do this, they're just sitting in base doing nothing. If you do the other thing, they're at least more mobile. So that's why I recommend upgrading on the go. Because you can do that as long as you can. As soon as you activate it, you can upgrade. That's fine. You can only heal at one spot. And otherwise, you're just sitting there. Anyway, it's, uh, oh my god, this British infantry is just being attacked from multiple angles. It can't survive for too long, and it has to be pushed back. Now, the British are taking the opportunity, and they grab mid. That's going to help in the victory point war, which the Germans have been leading so far with about 50 VP points. Royal Engineers grabbing this point as well. Again, a lot of cover, a lot of bushes. I can see a lot of direct firing happening throughout. So, it's also, I'm curious to see who's going to deploy the first set of armor. Uh, we already see here the British is actually doesn't really look like he's going it, unless I'm mistaken. Um, oh, he has an armor car unlocked, so I was right about that. But he's getting a sniper instead. That could be devastating. Because right now, the British are leading in terms of overall infantry, so they can capture territory a lot quicker. Plus, they're placing mines at key positions so that if the enemy tries to go for it, not going to go well. Decent grenade, but unfortunately got to cover quick enough, and the Royal Engineers should win that fight. They do, but they pull back to get some heals. Folk squads engaging the British. Uh, British, unfortunately, going to lose that fight, but the British will just chill out by the VP and wait for the Folk squads to leave that precious cover of theirs. Uh, again, really good upgrade, but again, that's a, a bit too little. Now, at the same time the Lukes is being deployed, you got the armored car. This is bad for the German. The Lukes is definitely, like I said to the Puma, slightly better than the armored car. The Lukes is definitely under tier, on the underdog fighting an armored car. While its main gun will hurt the armored car, the armored car can do a lot more damage against the Lukes and also has a lot more abilities to counteract the Lukes, such as crippling its engine, going smoked, and like... Also, it's really good speed and maneuver maneuverability. So you have a lot of really good pros against it. Now, they do have to worry about these AT grenades. That's the one positive. Both Ponsville Slayers so far have the ability to use AT grenades. So they could snare that thing, and maybe the Lukes could then go around and do damage, or if it's lucky. I would probably want to keep it back, but again, I have seen a Tiger being taken out by a T-70. So I've seen light units take out heavy units. If it's it's not out of the question for some good players to knock out some better stuff. Again, British going for that point. They know how valuable it is. They know if they do it, they cut off all this territory. So the Germans literally lost a good chunk of their supplies right now. Not going to last long, but it will be some time. Now, unfortunately, it looks like the G43 rifle-equipped Ponsville Salute Squad did knock out the British infantry right here. It looks like maybe with a nice grenade as they all died roughly at the same time. Sniper and more British infantry fall back, so even with less forces, he's doing a really good job at getting more ground. Unfortunately, British mo Oh my god! I guarantee you there's a guy at British Command just jumping up and down like, He was so close! So close! We almost got the Kubel! He got away! Alright. But, Armored Car is now searching for that- uh, Again, he sees that positive. Um, also, yeah, he's, he's pulling back. He's like, no, I'm, I'm hanging. I'm chilling. Armor car luckily misses the Panzer II. Panzer II is also like, yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm leaving. Uh, this is go the armor car is going to get take a shot. Again, not a ton of damage, but over time and just by sh just by the Panzer II's own like ability to fire, the armor car has a beat. So instead, the Panzer II is going to do what it does best and fight infantry. I mean, the British infantry section do not have any upgrades at this moment to deal with with this thing so overall they're fine now the sniper's gonna be busy in mid also nice for ken where for the counteract the armored car but you still need to make sure it's close by to make sure that uh oh nice minesweeper okay one step above he's making sure the enemy uh he knows the enemy placed mines to make sure they don't deal with them also the germans have placed mines so really good use again i like the back and forth it doesn't seem like there's a lot happening but there's 
a lot of little intricacies that's going on in this game, even if heavy casualties aren't on display. So, right now we have a Vickers being made, which is weird. It's 10 minutes in, and we still have yet to get a machine gun from the British, but he was worried on map control. He wanted that down. Armored car just sitting in the back, redeploying. Now, I don't... Oh, he's moving the Vikanwerfer. Again, he's setting up. He's luring the enemy in. He's preparing for that fight. And I love this. He's setting below ambush point here. Now, Armored Car could speed past and start doing damage and chase him through. So, unfortunately, again, has to maneuver it very well. For Ken Murfer, lined up. Uh, mine. Oh, it's a perfect. Oh, one last shot. If he can get the, if the very least he can get that, that'll be a big win. Nope. The god dang heavy cover prevented it, and the Verkadmorfer killed it. Oh, that's a big F for the armored car. Again, why A, mines are important, and B, ambushing. Because now, the enemy does not have a sufficient weapon or unit to deal with it. Sure, you can AT grenade it. But one AT grenade, or even two, is not going to be enough. The best thing that maybe you could do is get this thing vetted up so we can activate this, which is crit shot. But even with that, it's not going to do so much. But he's still using his units. He's still pushing forward. Also, Royal Engineers, very good close range, or at least a lot better. I know a lot of people forget that. I always see Royal Engineers, and they just either fire from afar or they don't gauge. No, Royal Engineers are actually decent close range. They're not that expensive, so don't expect much from them, like Pioneers, but they'll still do a lot of work. Um... At least better than nothing, anyway. Luckily, they keep, they're keeping this point under uh, wraps, so that way the enemy doesn't get those resources. So, Whitefire can hopefully... Uh, so, Whitefire's resources stay low while the British can, t you know, take a little bit of time to recover and get his men up on the ground. Because uh, the longer he stays here, the more time the British have to not only reinforce, but get something else. In this case, he's getting a six-pounder. That's a good idea, uh, but uh, remember, the Kubel and the Panzer II... Both have maneuverability on their side. Sure, it's set up, but they're going to need to snare it or stop it in order to make sure it, it dies. The Kubel, no! Dang it. The poor, poor Kubel. Poor Kubel. Uh, the best unit in the game just died, everyone. Just, look, I'm just going to pay uh, my uh, respect. Where's the F key? All right, there we go. Press F for respects, and we'll continue on. All right. In the meantime, Stern Pioneers will hold on to this point. Uh, funny enough, they fought with Minesweepers. I guess they thought the Germans might be placing... I'm oh, sorry, the British might be placing it. But uh, again, they can always retract those. Uh, like a cat with its claws, they can retract them. Or in this case, uh, it's more being more, uh, more serious. Luckily, the British Sniper will do damage over time. The problem is this, if it gives chase. Because while it does damage... You still have to worry about the Panzer II. Now, he might fall into another trap if he goes straight for it. Hits it. Mine! Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you I, we could be seeing a British Luke's? He better not kill it. Don't you dare kill it. S chicken. Oh my god. Now, don't worry, let me be very clear. Killing an armored car is pretty great. Stealing the armored car is even better. So the fact that they could be stealing that, not great. Now, this Vickers is in better cover than this MG34. The MG34 is weaker, but it looks like it did take some more substantial damage. So he's going to, you know, have some issues. Now, this Stern Pioneer squad is taking that point. I don't know if he knows that that thing is alive. I re I'm assuming he thought decreed. It looked like for a second he decreed. Mine. So, yeah, he's probably going to retreat that MG-34. He could keep it there, but it is incredibly low. I don't think he wants to waste any more men. All right, he's going to he's gonna take it. Now, it isn't setting down. So, I think he'll just maybe decap it or cap it and immediately retreat. We have more Royal Engineers taking that Panzer II. Whitefire has put down the Panzer Headquarters. So, and again, he got the upgrades. That's why he has Opal Sedan on the field. With the Opal Sedan, he could upgrade to SDG 44s. That's very simple. And this is what I mean by it's like, okay, now he's set up. Sniper could finish him. Misses. Hits the bush instead. Now these Stern Pioneers just realized, oh shit, my light vehicle is now in British hands. This is going to go badly. Now, he doesn't, he has AT, don't get me wrong. But the British taking a light vehicle, a Panzer II, to use against you, not a good thing. It's not a good thing indeed. 
So, uh, the, the Germans, again, focusing on putting, doing as much damage as possible. Should he crew that AT gun? I don't think they'll take it and or... Oh, wait, no. It looks like the brush saved it from being taken out. And don't get me wrong. Like, the Volk squads and the uh, Panzer First Warrior squad, as long as it doesn't have the Panzer Shrek, we'll have an AT snare. But now it looks like this Panzer II is just literally just going... To, oh, wait. Oh, really? You're going to get Panzer Fausted? Oh, no. He's actually doing a lot of damage to that Volk squad. They're doing a lot, actually, and the Rakan for setting up, but that Volk Squad might not live. It is very low. He's going to need some uh, medics. He has a base, right? No, uh, so you need Sturm Pioneers to do that. Panzer II has to hide behind the brush. Grenade? We have no grenades. He might set up for a direct fire. Doesn't look like it, though. And, yeah, he's going to fall back to base. He almost done have upgraded, but remember, almost done do not have Panzer Faust or Panzer Shreks, and neither will the Falsham Maker soon so yay but the nice thing about Osnan is again they're definitely heavy infantry they can take a lot of hits and do a lot of damage vicar is being set up but i wouldn't be surprised if we see a bundle grenade coming this way we will oh god you think it's gonna live wow okay it actually lives hot damn uh well it lived from the grenade not so much from the direct fire they will need to upgrade. Uh, S Chicken does not have any upgrades for his men, which is actually concerning a little bit. Because, the as you see, Whitefire's been upgrading his men. Uh, we haven't really seen much for S Chicken. Now, S Chicken could see that as like, okay, not worth it. I need armor. Which is fine. Uh, Whitefire is probably two minutes away from armor. S Chicken's a little farther as well. Because he has unfortunately been unable to really lock down the fuel, which is... Again, I think he's just not winning a lot of the infantry fights. AT grenades now being fired because of the snare. We're seeing... We're, we're... Even with less units, why fire was taking more ground. So good job there. Uh, probably will need to make sure he's guarded before that Vercanwerfer comes up and tries to shoot him again. If he can keep the Panzer II under British control, that would definitely be a positive. Because it's at least doing damage. Like, it has seven kills already. It's not like it's not doing anything. And besides, it would be a good counter versus these Oval Sadat. Um, actually, a lot, it, it, not so much against these Punzful Slayers because they AT grenade. But against everything else, it's looking good. Now, nice hit from the MG. Hit it from the side. Uh, unfortunately, it's still in cover. But with the Incendiary going out, it'll only pull back. Sniper uh, hitting the Volk Squad. Panzer II keeping it back. I'm assuming the Royal Engineer... No, nope, they're just sitting in base. You probably want to go up and heal. But Canwerfer's coming on in. Remember, that's five infantry that Sniper will have to keep back. I don't think that Panzer II can take that much damage. Now, uh, he's still keeping it. It's in range, I think. Bar nope, now it's out of range. Uh, pulling back. It's just out of range now. Volk Squad going to try to capture that point. Again, a good job here is the German is putting a lot of pressure via VPs on the Brits as well as capturing, capturing both fuels. The Brits keeps going for this point and oh wait actually no he went with mobile assault. Okay that'll make him better in cover for like 30 seconds and then like mattress vehicle repair that could be good. Um, which would work on the Panzer too. Flamethrowers for the Royal Engineers, which would be a nice upgrade, but he gave one of them Minesweepers. Uh, I think deservedly so. But right now, Estrickin's in this situation where I'm not liking, I'm not liking his odds against the Panzer IV. I'm really not. The Panzer II is great, but the Panzer IV is a whole different class. It's 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 Kid Boo versus uh, Fat Boo. It's it, There's a clear distinction of who's going to win that fight. So... How how can this guy counter? First mines, second AT gun. As long as he can keep his AT um, guarding the Panzer II, he can do the same thing he did, or the enemy did, with the uh, with the armored car. You lure it in, you bait something, and then you trap the larger vehicle and you kill it. That's how you do it. Or, in this case, you get a Cromwell. Cromwell go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Panzer IV. It's really going to come down to mines, AT grenades, or snares, uh... And really, who gets the opening salvo and who can continue that? For Kindwerfer's looking the wrong way. I think he was trying. He was expecting a flank from the north. All those Sturms coming in, but they're going to be quickly torn apart. Ponser too, by the way, has nine kills. It is doing some serious work. Almost vet two, by the way. Might actually kill this unit, which would be a huge plus getting rid of the minesweeper. Which because ah, uh, so British got in the last shot. Hot damn! For Kindwerfer also missed. Are you drunk, man? Are you drunk? 
Hanzer uh, 4 realizing, yeah, the fight's over there. I'm gonna fight on the left so that because I know the enemy doesn't really have that much. Get off the mine! Get off the mine! Cromwell going near it. Oh no. Hanzer 4 backing on up, taking the bush with him. Alright, trying to get close for an AT grenade. Cromwell being very, again, cautious, cautious. Because you could be snared. Now, luckily, in this scenario, he has not been hit. So, a snare will not stop him. This will, Again, you want to snare when the enemy is about, uh, can be under 75%. So, that way, you can damage his engine. So, that Panzer IV would be. He took no damage. So, he's fine. Also, this almost will die. Very risky because, well, that. Luckily, Rakan Morpher comes in. Gets a great shot on the Panzer II. Panzer II, hide around the corner. AT uh, gun and currently hitting that Panzer Cromo coming in. And the Panzer IV goes down. So, the British... Oh, uh, no. Now trying to, again, smartly get around the AT gun, neutralize it. The enemy is falling back, so this is the time. Do the damage you need. Also, get the Panzer II healed, because, by God. Vrakan Ruffer is very susceptible to this. So, if he can kill it, that would be a big plus in removing the AT. Alright. Kill it. Attack the unit. Again, attack the Vrakan Ruffer, Knock it out. Misses, that's fine. Uh, he's not gonna come close because he knows he can't he can't win that fight. Nowhere does he want to waste the manpower. He missed again. All right, aim strictly in front of you. You're not darkness. You can hit it. There we go. There we go. Thank you. All right. Konosuba, everyone. Once again. Uh, yeah, this Panzer II is way too close to the front. One AT grenade. It's it's a goner. Uh, but on the positive note. Lightfire did take some serious damage, and he's going to be down for a little bit. But one positive is Whitefire in that entire battle did grab a lot of territory. Like, one positive, I'll say, is the entire right side is under his control. He was working while that battle was taking place. So the Brit, even though he won the battle, uh, and decisively so, he the, the territory and the resources are still going uh, to the Germans so they can make up that difference pretty quick right now. We're seeing 63 munitions and 32 fuel That's gonna help we're already seeing white fires in a position where it's not gonna be long before he can deploy another armored vehicle if anything um, With his current predicament Like it's it would be risky But if he thinks he can hold back the armor which would be incredibly risky Let me be very clear about that Spe specifically because he is the smaller army too but if he thinks he can hold it, the Tiger wouldn't be that bad. But I again, that would be such a gigantic, colossal risk that we'll see. Anyway, Panzer II is just chilling. Rekanorfer gets one good shot, pushed it back. That's out of commission for a little bit. Direct fire, maybe? No, he's just repositioning. Um, also, he could try to de... Uh, you know... Um, what was it? Salvage that for some uh, fuel? But also remember that white fire can take a little bit of time. A lot of people for a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, I don't have all the victory points. I'm gonna lose." A, a seasoned battlefield player will know that even if the enemy has a small lead uh, against you, or like again, or like they quickly take the points, that doesn't mean you're instantly gonna lose and you need to sacrifice all your lives or something like that. You can take your time, plan an attack, and then have things dish out. Like right now. Uh, I, I don't think a Panzerfaust will kill it. I think he has too much health, but it'll be damn close. Yeah, it's very close. Uh, he might try to get close. He could drop smoke to close the distance. It is right now very low. Oh. Hold on. Let's see. Punchful Slayer's going in. Also, British are decapping this point, but the Sturms are holding. He also got Minesweepers with them. Oh, Real Engineers being torn apart. AT Grenade kills the loops. And that's one less problem he has to, he has to deal with. And he got the Royal Engineer Squad. That's another positive. Again, really good at sniping low health units with those G43s. But he is losing some men over here. But that's one less armored vehicle he has to deal with. And that's also less engineers to heal that Cromwell. So, uh, he's going to deploy himself a Panzer IV. Uh, for, just for reference, I, I, I want to point this out. Because, again, he has like 200 victory points where he can burn. Um, a Panther... He could actually get right now, but I think he's more focused on infantry. And the Tiger right now is, let's see, it's 230 and it's about 140. So he's only one minute away from deploying a Tiger. Roughly. He need, Unfortunately, though, he needs more manpower to heal his guys. So I'm just doing the positive and negatives. 
in the previous game, I did highlight the fact that the overabundance of heavy vehicles led to a definite loss for a team. Or not loss, but almost a, almost a clear loss for them. Uh, they, they won it more so out of uh, uh, luck, uh, be lucky. I would say luck had a lot to do with it. But in this scenario, what the Germans playing it smart. He's playing it safe. He's taking territory. He's taking back the key point. He's, he's biding his time. And he's also not worried about, like, he's also real. he's thinking, like, all right, this time with my Panzer IV, I'm not going to be as cautious, and not cautious, I'm not going to be as bullheaded, I'm not going to charge in, I'm not going to try to kill the Lukes, I'm just going to have a single fight. Now, the combo is Vet 1. Now, the problem with Vet 1 is it just smokes, so it's not a huge bonus. Next, next one is targeting rate of fire. That's going to actually deal some major buffs for it. Now, in that opening salvo, the Panzer IV actually pulled out ahead in terms of armor. He's going to pull back. Cromwell's going to take a little bit of time. Looks like he's heading back to base, so a little bit of time. He does have commandos as well. Let's also S-Chicken. Bring that up. And if equipped it with Brems, by God, are they... Like, again, it's like commandos. Uh, not commandos. Um, Because they are commandos. It's like airborne with paratroopers getting bazookas. Or rangers getting bazookas. Specifically rangers. Very deadly. Now, unfortunately, almost done. Team posting over here. Decided to stay in the fight. Didn't work out. Managed to knock it out. Oh, no, not again. I didn't even see this. The AT gun hit it. Lucky bounce indeed. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, there's two Cromwells. He lost the Cromwell, but he also lost the Panzer IV. He also has a Vet 5 Volk. I'll give him credit there. Decommission that immediately. You need those wrecks uh, if they're even available. I think this one might be a bit of a... I don't know if you can decommission that, but I... Would immediately specifically that that one's not there. It's this one. You need to decommission this one. You need the fuel man You absolutely need the fuel right now S chicken might have lost that in a sense of like yeah, he lost the vehicle But you are not gonna have an armored vehicle anytime soon Like white fire you are down Fortunately the Panzer IV did not pay off in terms of like being able it, it did kill the Cromwell, but S Chicken just got himself a Cromwell. Plus, with the map control he's gained from having the armor and infantry, he has a lot of fuel coming in. So much so that he can deploy a Cromwell in another minute. Whereas Whitefire might be able to deploy an armored vehicle in a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on how the, the, this goes. He does also have 260 munitions. So, again, I'm like, upgrade your men, get some Brens, maybe a Piot. Do some damage. Uh, it looks like he lost some British infantry section to, to some of the men. Again, Ponceful Slayer and Volk Squad doing some work. AT gun as well, decrewed. So the British have to worry about that. Luckily, he does have a Kenworth on standby. So we can always deploy that. We have another commando being used. Where did that one deploy? Just off map. Okay. Maybe he thought to go for a building. Cindy going off. De decommission that. Like, seriously decommission that unit because if you take that away from the enemy they're not gonna be able to use it the, again you don't want to give it right now if we look s chicken does not have an at gun if you remove that from play which would be big if you're trying to come back and knock it out but it looks like the cromwell came in not a safe spot right now pull back get out of there make sure you're in a better position so uh it, it it's it's all right now we have Punts a full, a full Slayer Squad just chilling over here. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe he thought I was capturing it. Uh, Punts Full Slayer is also trying to hit out that sniper. Might get the kill. Oh, get the heck. Oh, it's too late. And gets the sniper. Again, small little victories, but they're paying off. But Estrican's been a little bit late to retreat, I think. And that's helping him. That's helping Whitefire stay in this fight. Moving my mat. But, uh, yeah, I've, for, uh, I'm standing right now. And fun fact, you don't want to stand on your floor because... May not be great over long term. So I got myself a nice little mat so that I can stand on, you know, enjoy myself. No, it's not making me taller. It's like a quarter inch or something. But it's a nice foam pad so that way it doesn't hurt my feet for standing and doing replay so much since I'm jumping around. But anyway, we got Ponceful Slayers taking the point. Again, this, the, the MG thought, I'm okay. And it's like, no, no, you're not. You're absolutely not okay. You're really not okay. And, uh, yeah, they're... Oh, commandos are here, though. They're not firing. Um, I guess they're like, eh, who needs to fire? They're pulling back, though. 
I don't know why they're not firing. This isn't a trip to Norway where you're trying to get nuclear material. You may want to fire. Uh, yeah. So, there's that. Cinderi going off. Uh, killing the... Yep. There they go. Will it die? It's gonna be close. Commandos could have helped. Commandos really could have helped. Also, they could have helped hold that BP. Because, once again, the al... Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, the, the allies could use any help they have to make sure they hold that VP victory. So, just pointing things out. Um, so, let's see. We got ourselves British infantry keep putting down cover there, which seems to be removed or at least not as... Uh, looks like it might have been destroyed by an explosion or a vehicle. Cromwell has also been chilling as of late. And honestly, the infantry battles have been going pretty well. Uh, Cromwell, I don't know what you're doing. Does he have any upgrades for, like, he does not. So he uh, doesn't have enough for Churchill or Comet. So, yeah, uh, overall, like, Mo, uh, again, falling back, he just can't fight. Now, luckily, he is uh, finally, finally upgrading his men. He got Brens. So, again, get the Bren bonus. Increase accuracy, which makes them frightening. Cromwell could also get a devastating shot right there. Oh, is he targeting vehicles? Uh, no. I don't. He had something going on there. Panzer Force hiding. Gonna come from the brush. Stern Pioneer very low. Could finish it. Doesn't. Stern Pioneer is able to retreat. I love Panzer Force hiding literally in the brush. It is, it is really well positioned. But now they're coming out slowly but surely. For Kenworth, we're coming in from behind, but Commando's stopping him. Again, interesting maneuver right there by Whitefire, but unfortunately unable to pull off that great flank. Or I guess, like, encirclement? Like, I don't know what you call that, but it would have been a great move. Maybe at the very least kill the AT gun or take it for yourself. I mean, you have a Kenrifer right there, for God's sakes. Um, Panzer IV, though, doing damage at the very least. And again, the other Cromwell that was vetted did die. He is getting another Cromwell, though. It's going to be 2 to 1 odds against this Panzer IV. We've seen that not go well. But every battle Whitefire has gone, eh, except for that maybe the one with the Panzer II being stolen, gone pretty well in terms of at least doing something. So we'll see. Hopefully things turn out better for him in this scenario. But he's going to need to fight two Cromwells this time. Luckily, it looks like he's bringing in a little bit of support. Because not only do we have one, but we have two for Kenworthers, which I just noticed. So, if set up properly, we could see a nice little counter. We could see the British uh, falling into a trap. And again, uh, Commandos, though, looks like lying for a trap. Tearing apart the Fed 5 units, but nice grenade forces them back. And they'll be able to take this VP. Which is, again, right now all the VPs are right now centered more toward the Allies. Great shot at the Vercad Murfer, though the MG slowly tearing it apart. Might start pinning that Stern Pioneer squad as well. Unfortunately, firing some shots. Kind of unfortunately, just right in front of that Panzer IV, but still, Panzer IV is that half health. Kenwerfer might kill it. It's all the uh, it's gonna retreat. He's gonna be able to make it. Oh, finally! Panzer IV's like, hey the AT gun, maybe I should take that out. Look, I'm going to be honest. In a 1v1, there's a lot of little stuff. So that's why I'm a little bit easier on this. I mean, like, hey, you could do this or do that. Because I know the stress of, like, the entire map is under your control. Smoke's coming on in, but the Cromwells do not care. They're giving chase. Luckily, the front armor's been helping. Oh, that one didn't help. That one did bet. Oh, oh, that one bounced, too. Oh, not again. Oh, another bounce. Another pen. Panzerfaust. One died. Let me guess. The pan Oh, a bounce! Oh, it's stuck in the base! Oh my god! I... I just love the fact that literally it's just like a trifecta of dead tanks. That's probably the highlight of this right here. But, what I will say is, they... He did it! Like, doesn't matter what you think. The Germans won two ways. First... B2 Cromwells. Second win. He got 15 free fuel. 15 free fuel. Okay. So right now, he could get uh, fuel, more fuel. So we could deploy a certain Tiger tank a little quicker. 
And third, for the most part, against the British, the German player, Whitefire, has been winning a crucial battle. Map control and infantry games, for the most part. Not always, and again, we're seeing the British slowly react. But, overall, especially, yeah, we're seeing a lot more victories in the infantry for the Brits than the Germans. I'm sorry, for the Germans over the Brits. Over the Brits, my apologies. So what does that mean? Well, if the Germans keep this up, the amount of resources they're getting is going to outpace the British. Which in turn will allow them to get some very critical weapon upgrades, uh, mines down, abilities uh, possibly called in, and heavy armor deployed. Because right now, he is... He could absolutely wait two minutes and give himself a tiger. He could get a panther for all, for all that matters. All I'm saying is it could at least be better than the panzer four. So we'll see how things go. Also, again, he could decommission this stuff. If he doesn't want this AT gun, decommission it. Doesn't want the MG, decommission it. Or booby trap it. That's also a good positive. He goes for the AT gun, boom. Possibly loses maybe all his units. We'll see. Uh, British in cover. They're going to all pace his MG 34. They don't have the fuel, though. That's one gripe, but he's at least holding him back. He'll need more men. We're also seeing a... Wait, we have another Cromwell. This, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think you can keep going back to the same thing. Whitefire's like, oof, my MG, no. Even though the Brits have more men on the field, I, I just feel like the, the Germans have been doing a lot better. at like, Especially, like, right now, we can see he's overall map control, even though Chicken technically has more men. So... And I, I do, and I do feel like, again, it's just a lot of those upgrades. Like, he, he did finally upgrade, like, some of it, but I feel like it could have been a lot more a lot sooner. Anyway, uh, that's, again, that's also in part because he hasn't really controlled as much of the map. Right now, 32 fuel and 47 munitions. Whitefire is literally going to be able to, in, like, literally less than a minute, deploy a tiger, which would be major. Uh, we have a, a booby trap going off, and it looks like it's commandos that did shit. So, maybe not. Um, was hoping for more, did not do more, and unfortunately the enemy is going to take it. Now, he also has it hold fire, which is weird. I think he might be trying not to be seen a little bit, but unfortunately he's in no cover, so he's not going to be able to get that, like, hidden ability. Cromwell's on the field, the allies have no AT, and literally we are, okay, still, like, probably a minute away from getting a tiger. Uh, right now, the British are doing a good thing. They are capturing a good chunk of territory very quickly. The commandos and the Royal Engineers are doing their part and making sure they get those precious resources back to his side. Uh, except for the flamethrower unit, I'm also curious why... Uh, like, I'm, I'm assuming he got this for the commandos. Like, that was the major reason. reason. Let's see, we have 20 kills on that one, 3 and 6. Uh, super close to killing that unit. Super close. Germans capturing this again. Minesweeper's active. So let's see. I mean, right now we we have not seen a mattress. We, I don't think I've seen advanced cover to co uh, like advanced cover been used. I I I, I want to say that has not been active. So while well, the Germans have used Ponceful Soliers, SG forty fours, smoke, yet the uh, we're, I'm assuming about to use the Tiger and the Panzer Commander. Now again, pa again, Panzer the the Tiger tank may not be the default like hey instant win option. You could deploy multiple Panzer fours. You could deploy. Um, yourself a uh, a panther if you really want to maybe a support unit whatever you, that helps in this situation though because of the lack of AT that I'm seeing I think the tiger is the best option because I don't want people to think like oh just get a heavy tank and you win that not in the slightest because if the enemy has a fuck ton of AT no god no there's better weight there's better armor you can deploy or units in general you can deploy with for fuel in this scenario however the time is set for the Tiger to do a lot. And also we can see him using Panzer Commander. So if there is an AT gun on the enemy team, boom, 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 artillery comes and deals with it. Now, he did just walk into a mine, which is an issue, but he's quickly moving up the Vercadmore for the Guarded. And I'm assuming he has additional forces on standby. Yeah, he has additional Vercadmore forces just in case. This Cromwell, though, no way does it engage. No way does it engage a Tiger tank. Hell no. It needs actual support. He's getting an AT gun that's, that's a step in the right direction. I think grabbing an AT gun for the last 10 minutes would have been great. But he's been busy with other things. Meanwhile, the commando's still here. They're just hiding. And now they're moving on in. Grenade being thrown, but again, where he was, not where he's going to be. 
and the vet 5 unit being specifically built for long range is going to not do well against a close range uh, a build, a unit. Commando's coming in just shredding the bulk squads and now we're starting to see the British actually have some capable units holding their line against the Germans which is good. It's good. Fine, I like again because I as much I've been praising the Germans I'm glad the British has also stepped up in their a different department. I feel like for most part, Germans have been doing very well in the armor game, and, uh, while uh, the British typically has been one-upping them slightly, but he's also been learning. I'm glad to see the British kind of learning up on the infantry game a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Commando's taking the fuel, which will be very critical. Again, as chicken could also bring a Firefly out. Uh, Comet could also... Wait, does he have the upgrade once again? No upgrades. I think maybe up being an upgrade would be suitable. Um, a comic could be a good tank. It's infantry and armor alike. Uh, smoke going down. Essentially hurt infantry and make sure you can grab that point. The Cromwell could still fire through. Tiger tank moving up though. Destroying that post because, yeah, no. No rate, no, no telephones for you. Trying to hit it. A nice AT gun by the six pounder. Getting a nice shot. Cromwell coming on in. Going for a dive for Kenwifer. Guard flank though. Gets one shot from the Tiger. One from the Kenwifer. Uh, misses. Commandos guarding the flank. Come on in. Gonna focus on the AT gun. MG though, right there to help. He could drop smoke, but nope. He's gonna retreat. Tiger Tank's gonna do a lot of damage on that retreat. Very smart. Weaken down the heavier infantry. Deal with it. Make the enemy again. Make the enemy pay for having that long retreat path. Oh, uh, we have two units over here now. Pencil Slayers and Volk Squads and Commandos. God bless these commandos. They are literally holding the damn line. They're like, the Germans will... Oh my god, they're gonna kill that... That's a Vet 5 Volk Squad. Oh my god. Those guys are fucking legends. And they just smoke. They just drop a fucking smoke gr uh, bomb and just run away. Uh, Zen's hurts. Well, yeah, you should probably retreat it. I get why you didn't. You were focusing on the other front. But it was also in the 1v1. Something you have to consider is the fact... There's so much stuff going on. So, for example, if I were to go to follow camera uh, for S Chicken, you can see here he's busy here. But, again, there's all sorts of other stuff on the map he needs to be taken a look at. Then we look at, um, let's see. Hold on. Then we look at the German player, and he's like, okay, what do I need to do? What do I need to go with my Tiger? And also this, oh, by the way, uh, real quick, while there's a law in action, a lot of people ask me, Grayshaw, why do you change the camera? And I, and I feel like that's a perfectly natural response. So this is the German player right now. This is my best camera angles when you're here and the enemy's in front of you. Not behind you on the screen, aka below the screen. I like when the enemy's in front of me. Alright? So then we go over to the British player. And we see he's this way. That's how I like. I like the enemy being perfectly in front of me. I don't, I don't think that's a huge debacle or issue but so on some maps whatever reason this does not happen and i i don't know why but that's the case so um there's some maps i'm fine with like lurch assault i know it's a little bit more of an angle but that map's also very weird so i'm fine with that but most maps i like the enemy to be in front so i can deal with it firsthand so that's a, that's a clear insight into my mind is why on streams i changed the camera so anyway going back to the way we were with the Germans. Alright. So again, they're taking the point, but the Tiger's just letting him have it. Already 10 kills. Going to be possibly 12 if he doesn't retreat. Commando's just going to make quick work. Although, nice grenade. Does a lot. Pushes back that super awesome Commando squad while the Pencil Slayer's on the way from the Cromwell. S Chicken saving up on fuel. I hope he gets a Firefly. That would probably be a good counter to this because his six pounder is not doing much. Panzer Commander's been active. So artillery is going to come down. I don't think he's quick enough. I think it's still going to come. Knocks out the unit. And uh, will it kill anything else? No, it will not. Damn it. Cromwell coming on in. But Cowboyfer pushes it back. Tiger might know he's focusing on the MG. Once again, no AT for the British. So right now, it's going to be pretty damn sweet to be the German Tiger. Because he's like, oh, <laughs> that was a cute bounce. Oh, that Piat's adorable. Barely did anything. 19 kills, by the way. Now, he has two Piots. That will definitely do a little more damage, but as you can see here, not as much as he would have liked. The German player's gonna hold pretty active. So, again, we'll see how things progress. 
right now being healed up. We have Commandos taking over the VP. VP point-wise, it's a lot closer. Again, the German had a clear victory, but now it's becoming a little bit more of a... Well, how do I, how do I put this? Um, so, uh, the... Uh, okay. <clears throat> The, the German player uh, is now been losing a little more territory. So the Brit has been getting better with map control. Specifically, that commando unit that was literally holding off like unit after unit after unit. This guy, unfortunately, doesn't have the XP. I don't think he has the firepower to. He also got a little farther back, which in this case, I think he would be better still closer. Because uh, most of his guys still have it. Though, he's still doing good work. Though, unfortunately, he'll lose that battle. It's close. But it's funny how the commando did extremely well. Um, now, now the vet three ones here. It's like, don't worry, lads. I I'm here to take that point, which will again keep the victory point under British control and keep the ticker down going against the Germans, which Whitefire does not want. Which is why he's committing that tiger over there. But as a point that will open him up. Now there are some British mines, the German mines anywhere. Also that wrecks there. Fuel. You better have decommissioned all that. One, two, three. Decommission this for fuel. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Do you have anything? Yeah, you have. Okay, you have the Sturm. I'm like, he maybe he doesn't have a unit. No, he does. British retreated back to base. They didn't decap it though, but he is going to decap mid. So if he does that, the ticker will start kick, uh, clicking down on the German player. Now, Whitefire did get himself a Panzer IV. Very good against infantry once again. I am mixed on this, but in that scenario, we finally killed the AT gun. So already a positive light on this thing. The reason why I'm more negative on it, while well, we really wanted it dead is the fact the enemy has a Firefly. Firefly can hold its own against a Panzer IV. And a Tiger, not so much in direct assault, but it can definitely dish out damage against a Tiger. Um, but again, something to just take note of. Uh, in this scenario, oh, Cromwell. Right now, the amount of damage output, the British have probably a little bit better. Why are you pushing up that Cromwell right now? Oh, okay, the Firefly's right there. I'm like, why? Luckily, it does push back that. Now, the Panzer IV is there. There is an AT gun. There's actually two AT guns, which might make the difference. If there's a big fight, the Germans have AT. They can sustain the damage because they can pull back and have a shield of AT. Th that Cromwell and Firefly, even with the Firefly's awesome range, can't do shit about. Because as long as it's a screen, they're fine. As long as there's an area in which they can't charge in, they're fine. If the... Now, they also, the White Fire could advance. We've seen him do that before, where he pushes in and tries to deliver that knockout blow. So far, I don't think that's really done. I think he's done better on the defensive than offensive. So, we'll have to see. Hopefully, hopefully, he takes from this and tries to lure the Brits in. Now, the Brits could also have learned from that and be like, no, nah, I'm not going to charge you again. I'm going to take my time. Because right now, my commandos are dishing way more damage to your infantry than your guys. And to be fair, he only has one really awesome vetted unit. Like, there's a, a vet 2 Sturm, but, like, that Volk squad... Not Volk. Hans Volk's leader squad is the best thing he's got right now. He's gonna focus on the MG. MG, sh Oh, he's facing the wrong direction. I didn't even realize that. Now, those men are also very expensive, so if they lose a lot to that Panzer IV... But also, also, nice kill. Um, that could be very costly for a long-term engagement. We kind of went for looking the wrong way. Tiger and Firefly moving on over. No AT except for the Royal Engineer Squad, which is coming in once again from the north. In a choke point right now. Smoke being dropped. Firefly directing, using a direct shot works out for him. Piot's also firing long range, but hits the, a little bit of the infantry and a little bit of the armor. So, a little bit of everyone's hit with that engagement. Piot's firing, hit, make, hitting more of the Kenworfer than anything else. We got the Panzer IV going around. Maybe he kills the trench. That will be good. That'd be, I mean, it would definitely... I don't think it will... Oh, Firefly, though, covering him. I don't think he's paying attention. Uh, too late. Firefly. Man, those armored skirts came in real handy, didn't they? Fire, uh, Vakanwerfer, though, putting a shot on the Firefly. It looks like it missed. Royal Engineers took mid. Uh, they are healing. Looks like it did. It, I didn't even see it. It looks like it got uh, fausted by something or AT grenaded. Something hit the hit the bastard. Maybe a mine? Oh, they destroyed that vehicle. So something happened. I am not entirely sure what, but both victory points are under the British. So we might see for the first time in this entire game, the British have more VPs than the Germans. Again, 
Not a great sign when you had a 400 point lead. But, also, yeah, but also the British is currently having no long range AT. So it's really the first one, in my opinion, to lose their army that's really gonna lose this. Tire Tank definitely taking out damage. Huntsville Slayers, no, he needs to snare that AT, that uh, Firefly. Luckily, the Vickers and everything are gonna hold him back. Also, Don, they're gonna push back those commandos. Again, white, that's White Phosphorus ability. I know it's not White Phosphorus, but essentially that's what kind of it is. It's a smoke grenade that, again, hurts nearby infantry with acute exposure. All right, whatever. It's, 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 again, I'm terrible with names, so I can't say blend corpor, but uh, it's kind of like white phosphorus. So, should he take the MG? And eh, maybe? I mean, like, if he wants to maybe guard this area, a Vickers machine gun might not be out of the question. Uh, commandos are on standby, so the Ops of Sudan might actually have a, a rough ordeal if he tries to stay on that point. Command oh British infantry coming over here. We have I don't think I've have Man, I forgot about you because the commandos have kind of been upstaging you, but no, you're still a thing. And with your veterancy, although you're out of cover, you need to be in cover. Uh you might actually win that fight. Oh, he's using okay. He just used advanced cover to cover. So he's gonna fight like he's in medium cover right now. And if he's in medium cover, he'll fight like he's in heavy cover. It's gonna be close. I think the British might win that fight, but they're both gonna retreat. So it's a little bit of a victory for the Germans because at least they'll hold on to that point while reinforcements come in. That being said, uh, El Sedan got pulled back, so yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Now, one thing to note that's very, very critical. White Fire is a little bit more strained because the Panther requires 18 population. He can't deploy that. It's it's just not possible. But what end up could ha what we could see happening is this. So, for those who don't know, we could see the British actually going with another Firefly, or he could upgrade against some Common or Cromwell. That could be huge. Now, uh, looks... Oh, wow. Okay, he did a little bit of a flip right there. Commando's falling back, though it looks like Stern Pioneers is falling back. They held mid. The Vickers and... Uh, is that... I'm sorry. Uh, the, is that Vickers? No, it's MG34. Okay, I was like... They're still sure holding that point. For the most part. But, uh... Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like, okay, what do you do? How 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 do things go? Can the Vercan with an MG still hold on to this point? Well, it's so so far this MG is not doing a great job at help supporting. But again, he's also versing a Vickers. A Vickers, by the way, that might actually be better in a trench. Also, we're seeing the British deploy another Firefly. That's going to be another thing for that Tiger to deal with. Luckily, again, amazingly so, he does have double for cat morphers, but those commandos, every time they try to move up, have pushed him back. And again, his flank is wide open. Uh, Panzer IV is kind of guarding it, he does have Punceful Slayers, but that is something he needs to worry about. That That is something that is critical that he needs to deal with. So. Tiger firing, pops a shot. Eh, Cromwell's slightly injured, not too much. They are pushing mid right now, the... German's down by almost double the victory points. He needs to take quick action. Commando's pushing back the Volk. Uh, we have a push over here. Oh, Pantsful Slayer gets annihilated by the Commandos. Holy God, those Commandos have, like, uh, not only a lot of kills, but they are, like, infantry-wise, outpacing the Germans. That is what he needed. Again, really good pick there. And I'm glad he upgraded them as well. Firefly bouncing. Even Vet, too. Hot damn. Uh, unfortunately, though, he needs something to fight that realm. Ah, uh, the Royal Engineer. He needs something to help the Royal Engineer fight the Obelisk Dot. Firefly, though, getting another great shot. Second Firefly for Kenworfer is right there, though. Gets a great shot on the Vet 2 1. Another one being hit by this other for Kenworfer. Again, Panzer IV gonna try to go in there. I don't think that's a good idea. Fireflies realize it. Oh, no. It, I don't think he'll fire. Wait, hold on. He might. Hold on. Uh, no, just out of range. Smoke's being called down. Direct shots being used by Tiger. And both, neither side loses armor, but the Germans, by God, it, ooh, it's looking dicey. It's looking dicey. Lost his Pensable Slayer squad. I don't think, I don't think the British lost all that much. They, they retreated. The armor, the armor specifically is the big ordeal right now. Because that's going to take a little while to heal. That will absolutely, he doesn't have a quick repair option. Although, 32 kills with the Tiger, not too shabby. And also, it's Command Tiger, so you can kind of improve everyone else with a, you know, munition click away, though. he's They're both very low munitions. Booby trap placed. 
Commandos getting healed up back at base. Coming in. They are going in undermanned. I just realized that. He didn't have the manpower to heal him up all the way. Whitefire does for the most part. Also, yeah, I was going to say, where's the... Like, this guy does have smoke. You realize that. Like, he could drop, drop, drop smoke right there. Okay, there we go. I was like, where's the commando smoke? Because that's kind of their thing, is they can get around MGs with smoke. They lose a squad, uh, one squad member, but they're still relatively fine. This other one, he retreats it. He doesn't use the smoke. Okay. But again, luckily, uh, the Germans did enough. They brought the victory points down to... Oh, man. British still have a lead by one victory point. <sighs> oh, it looks like they might have a flanking maneuver coming on in. Uh, and there's no... The Panzer IV and Tiger have healed, though. They're coming back in the action. A mo not a moment too soon, because right now the Commandos are going to put a lot of pressure on them. We could see these MGs get eviscerated very quickly. Tiger's helping. Firefly's coming on in. They've been fully repaired as well. We're kind of for those still helping. Gaben Bomb being thrown on the Verkan Whipper. They're scattered. Not gonna kill it. Verkan, a commando's still there. Same thing with these guys. Killed the MG. They're pushing back a Bet 3 Tiger. Which, by the way, Command Tiger. You can look here. Mobility, speed, acceleration. So, fast movement. Again, command ability gets better. And, yeah, you get the command ability. Which, in itself, again, weakens it, but helps it out. Now, nice Panzerfaust stops the Vet 3 Firefly. Uh, Cromwell, this might be your time to help. Or, where are the commandos? Do we have any additional command? Okay, we have one commando. He's keeping his distance, using the Brens. He's trying to kill that one Volk squad. Can the others... This guy's just... Oh, he's healing. He's he's keeping it back so we can heal it. Uh, Gavin Bomb being thrown. More on the retreat. And, uh, does actually a little damage to him, and he will pull back. Commandos, very uh, low on health. Or at least lower on health from that smoke grenade. MG's there. Suppressing him once again. We could... I, I'm very surprised we've not seen another unit try to just walk over. Maybe we'll do that with the British Infantry section. That might not be a bad play. Um, just send things over. Because that way at least he gets the point. But, again, we'll have to see what happens in this scenario. So, moving on from this, we have the British holding on to this point here. Tiger Tank opening fire. We have the Firefly taking a nice shot. Again, in this scenario, we could... Oh, damn! Uh, it's a Vet 3 Tiger. Almost Vet 4. For Ken Woodford, though, does miss. Firefly still on commission, though, and the other one's being pushed back. So what do you do in this situation? Oh, double for Ken Woodford doing work. Vet 4. Again, AT is clutching it. Although Commando's coming in, just firing double Brens at both, uh, both of them. We actually have an MG coming over to suppress. The, the Vickers is moving in to capture the point now. It is desperate, although I'm going to say it's a little more sided to the Brit, not the British, the Germans. The reason why, the re oh wait, although he does have enough resources, he's doing quick repairs to get stuff in order. Though I think that might, he's not healing the Cromwell, he's healing the Firefly. Smoke coming in, it's going to help get him closer to the MG. It is suppressed though, and as long as it's under fire, it'll help, but he's going to retreat it. Where's that folks? British infantry section still back at base. Just send that sucker long and go take the other point. Um, although, that's what the Germans are trying to do. They're trying to take this other point. But that Vet 3 commando squad's like, no, you don't. Like, seriously. Uh, Panzer IV, though, moving on over. Again, the, luckily, this brush is going to prevent him, the enemy from targeting him. For Cannon Rivers moving on in. Nothing stopping it. Cromwell, again, luckily Amogen's... Oh my god, he missed. Vet 4 for Kenworfer. Get your shit together. There we go. Elvis Don being suppressed. We can see a bundle grenade. It's being thrown. Vicar... Oh, wait, no. Uh, oh, Foster's grenade. A piece of debris went flying. For Kenworfer getting some mighty great shots. Cromwell very close. But the nice thing is both sides are really damn good in the terms of armor. In, in, I'm sorry, getting fuel. Whitefire is doing a lot better. Great shot by the Panzer IV coming on the flank. Fireflies are probably pretty pissed about that. They might give chase. They are. It's just taking a slow amount of time. Panzer IV, though, is probably going to die. Yep. But, as we've seen with Chicken, he is not upgraded. He's getting a Centaur? I mean, I guess he wants to deal with the infantry. 
But, like, Whitefire's like, alright, I lost my Panzer IV. Uh, what, what can I deploy? I can deploy anything I want. I can deploy a Stuka or a Panther. Now, only one because of manpower, but he could. Um, also, uh, unfortunately, the British have not done a great job of capturing any other point. So, even though it's like, what, four units really, and he has five. So, once again, he doesn't have a ton of munitions. And right now, that's costing him. Because a great ability the Fireflies have is those rockets to pin the armor. So, you can get those final blows in. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that upgrade. Um, even though that would be devastating. He just doesn't have the resources. And I don't blame him. And I wouldn't get in this scenario because it's too expensive. And you need to use the resources in other areas. That doesn't mean chicken is done for. Absolutely not. I don't think a centaur is the best. I could see anti-infantry and him trying to deal with the centaurs, maybe. Man, that's Vet4 Tigers. Again, he's just trying to keep the enemy back. Panther is about to come up. Vickers needs to pull back. Firefly bringing it down to a third of health. Again, Vet3 as well, so it's going to pen. It has a very high likelihood of penning with that thing. Increase accuracy in addition to damage. So, hot damn. You need to worry about these things. Oh, they're both at three? Oh, God. Well, uh, they need to do something soon. Because, uh, well, the Germans now have gained control of all three victory points. So, the time is the ticket. Took a little bit of time. And it was very close. But the German player finally, Whitefire finally got control of all the points. Also, I swear to God, Whitefire, if you... Okay. I'm going to assume he decommissioned them, but that being said, there's one still there, so I'm actually going to assume that he ran them over. Whatever. At this point, it doesn't matter. He has 400 fuel, but at a time where he needed it... Again, also, why people tell me, like, Grayshot, why do you think fuel doesn't matter? This scenario, where, the, where as the German player, you're like, uh, I have 400 fuel. Could really use more munitions, honestly. For Ken Whiffer's doing work... They're just going to shred. The Firefly hits the British mine, too. And there goes the Firefly. Again, just a simple charge. Really, man? I was expecting a lot more. But, I mean, what are you else are going to do? In all honesty, I think Chicken should have upgraded. I think he should have gone himself either a Comet or a Churchill. In this scenario, the Churchill might have been better because you could counteract the Panzer IV. And you could also take the hits of those for Kenworthers and have them focus on it. So it could, it could definitely be a frontline tank, take all the damage while the Firefly is pitting those Tigers. While your infantry, again, follows suit. I think that might have been a better play than a Centaur. But I get what you're trying to do, anti-infantry. Um, Damage-wise, uh, S. Chicken actually got mo most damage. By the way, White Fire, thank you for submitting this replay. It was really interesting. Um, Chicken got more kills, and again, I think toward the later half, his commandos were on point. Uh, they were incredibly potent. Those Fireflies took the most damage and earned a VP. Uh, 12,000 damage for the Infiltration Commandos. He only deployed four of them, and he only lost one. Meanwhile, White Fire, on the other hand, uh, he lost a number of units, specifically MGs. But, uh, still, they did quite a bit of damage. I don't think nothing comes close. The Pounds of Fossil Fossil were probably a little bit closer. They got about 10k, a little over. Um... But I think commandos were probably the best infantry unit. But by far, the thing that decided this game, even though I love the commandos, even though the principles are really good, even though there's a goddamn Vet 5 Tiger sitting in front of me, the thing that won this game was these for Ken Murphers. These beautiful bastards literally were the decisive unit to hold them back because the British had no answers. Whitefire decisively protected his AT with MG support, good infantry support. Even when he lost his infantry, which was a lot. He still, I mean, specifically in the later half. Um, he managed to do good map control. He still managed to protect the Vercanwifers, get them veterancy, and allow them to support his armor. So even though, in a lot of those battles, his armor gameplay against the, with the Panzer IV against Cromwell, or multiple Cromwells, or something like that, it was the Verkenwerfer that usually would allow at least the Cromwells to die and not escape. If he didn't have that, it would not have worked. I think if the British would have built something like a 17-pounder and or 
instead of that, uh, because like I know a lot of people are like, it is 70 pounder. If he would have built something else, let's say, or like it got him something else, like a Churchill Cromwell or an AT gun, just an AT gun. I think that would have been a lot better. Also, some mines were hilarious. Don't get me wrong. S Chicken was great. I love the fact he stole a Luke's. I love the fact he used it against the enemy. I love how typically he had some good plays with his armor and infantry. Specifically his commandos. His commandos were on point. Um, just here, I'm looking at at least 60. And look with the other one, probably 80 kills just with the commandos. That's being a that's a rough estimate, but I would probably say like maybe 90 closer. But they got a lot. It was a lot of kills overall. And just really good plays with the infantry in the later half by S Chicken. Though White Fire's early game map control really helped out, I think. I think that really definitely did. Um, good mine placements are good side, uh, both sides. I really, though, think that also um, White Fire's consistency with having minesweepers helped. Though, again, man, you can always retract those. But in a 1v1, I don't tend to criticize as much because it is so much stress in this environment which also is a great reward because when you win you feel so much more deserving um uh, because it's like yes i pulled it off by myself but you're also controlling multiple fronts at once so when he loses a unit here or there i i completely understand um same thing with the british um that being said it is a situation where it's hard for the british i i completely get that if you are worried weirdly enough you actually had a counter to a lot of the infantry that was just sitting around here and that was this like funny enough you did have a land mattress at your disposal so that could have actually worked um it's only 10 cp i know you were getting closer to pop cap but i think you were hovering around 88 you could have deployed a land mattress and just have it open fire that also might have prone White fire to somehow get behind your lines and kill it, which might have opened the door for your commandos to kill infantry more, or for you to knock out those tigers. But that's just my that that's my best judgment. What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments down below. But otherwise, it's been Gray Shot One Seven, reminding you to submit your replays, and I'll see all of you next time. Hello, everyone. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters: Joey G Two Forty, Josh Malam, Ace Ion, Ollie Pyro Shark and Jacob Allsway. Thank you all so very much for your amazing support. You keep this channel going, so thank you. Remember guys, if you want to be an awesome Patreon supporter, you can do so down below. But otherwise, it's been Grayshaw17, and I'll see all of you next time.